and welcome back to my channel. This is Playdates and Travels, and today I'm going to be doing my favorite thing to show you, which is my latest Disneyland haul! Yay, Disney Parks merchandise! So you guys, if you watch my channel before, you know that I'm a big fan of finding Disney Parks merchandise, whether it's free, or discounted, or at full price, that too. But there are only so many things that you can purchase that makes your heart warm and tingly inside and I had the opportunity to go to Disneyland a couple times in the past um, month or two months or three months. I'm not really sure how much footage I'm going to put into this particular video but I'm going to try to show you all the different uh, items I got from the Disney parks more recently that I haven't yet shown you on my channel which might mean that I might be going back a couple of months in terms of pin releases but today is not just a pin haul because I also got some regular merchandise items from the parks and I wanted to show you on my channel because I love showing the latest Disneyland merchandise and for the occasion I'm wearing my Disneyland spirit jersey that I got from the outlets last year as well as these beautiful ears which I wore on my most recent Disneyland trip of uh, last week or two weeks ago now and um, I actually was wearing these and someone was putting them out and they're like oh those are the ears that I wanted and I was like I got them at the outlet so these I got from the outlet last year as well and you can always find bargains like that so I always suggest look at your Disney store outlet because sometimes Disneyland and Disney World merchandise makes its way there. I can hear my son waking up so I'm gonna cut this video a little bit short and then I'm gonna come back to filming. But that's what today's video is gonna be so give it a like if you like hauls, keep on watching, and let me show you what my latest items I got from my, my most recent trips. One of the things I want to start with is the free items and I got a couple of new maps. They had this one, they had the Disneyland one, this is the California Adventure. You can see Donald is featured on the cover. I'm showing you my used ones so that I don't uh, damage my pristine condition ones but um, it's always fun to have new maps and I really enjoy looking at the maps and what's cool about this particular map is that it had mapped out the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride, which I rode for the first time in September. I have to show you guys that vlog. I realized when I was editing the footage of my most recent trip, I never actually incorporated that on my channel. So I'm going to have to go back and show you guys my September vlog as well as my most recent May trip. However, um, the Guardians of the Galaxy is on here. I love that ride. There's Cars Land, which I got to ride my most recent trip. And then what's really cool is that the Pixar Pier in its entirety is featured on this map as well. So if you have an older map, all of those new additions won't be on it. And that's what makes collecting maps through the years so much fun. So I love the freebies like this, which is such a great goodie to have. And I got both the California and the Disneyland version. And then what was unique is that both the parks were also giving out this free guide as well. And it is a food guide which I didn't know was happening, but this is for Get Your Ears On, which Disneyland has been doing all year long. And I kind of ignored it to the effect because I was just like, I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to experience that festive, those festivities while they're happening, but they were still going on. And I had the opportunity to get special food items for this food celebration in either park. I'm gonna be 100% honest though. I'm a big foodie. And as much as I love food in the Disney parks, Disneyland food isn't my favorite. I usually prefer Disney World um, and Disney World's festivals. It's just a personal preference. That's just me. Sorry, guys. But I there were a couple items on here that I, if I had more time, I would have tried out. Like, in particular, this burger that looks like Mickey Mouse's head with three trio of burgers actually looked kind of cool. Um, it was It's being sold at Smoke Jumper's Grill in Grizzly Peak. And honestly, I was like, just the picture looks like it just might be regular burgers. I think I saw a vlog where it looked like regular burgers, but the, the fact that the burgers were in Mickey's head shape was kind of unique to me. But we just didn't make our way over there that day, so that was not what we ate, unfortunately. Um, but I did have a special um, Sunday, which I'll show you guys shortly, in my vlog footage. And I think that might be it. So as much as we liked looking at these items, we didn't actually get any of the specialty foods this time around, which is surprising for me, I want to say. And then even the merchandise that was, they had like a specialty zipper and whatnot, I didn't get that either. So I was trying to exercise some, you know, some restraint because I've just been going nuts with the pins lately. A lot of pin purchases, which is part of my haul today as well. But this is a fun food guide. So they had both Disneyland and a California Adventure. And these are the Disneyland foods that were being featured as well. So a lot of fun items that were on this particular guide if you wanted to get your food on at the Disney parks in California. I can't go to the Disney parks without bringing this autograph book. We are almost full at this point. Um, it does say my, my daughter's name in the front, Isabella, and it has all her autographs and my autographs we've collected 
for the past uh, two years. One of the last ones we got from Disney World was Ariel, one of my favorites, of course, next to um, Prince Eric on this side. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> um, but uh, then my daughter decided to just grace a couple of the pages and put her own autograph or drawings or whatnot on here. And when I say that, I mean like, look, that is, like, that's my daughter's work, her handiwork. Um, followed by Princess Jasmine. <laughs> so the most recent one that we have in here uh, from this particular trip, we met both Donald Duck, who's number one, as well as Pluto. So those were the autographs that she got on this particular trip. We did meet two more characters, Nick and Judy from Zootopia, Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde, but they do not do autographs, so we did not get them to sign our book, unfortunately. I showed on my channel before this particular item. It's a Mickey Mouse pants um, container, and on the back it's like a sink with the little, uh, um, the nozzle and the two, uh, the nozzle. The two things to turn the sink on, I can't talk and think right now, but this is a little sink that you can get when you order an ice cream sundae in the parks, and I had previously gotten this from California Adventure at their ice cream shop. I love ice cream, and I cannot finish a trip without going there at the end of the day it's a lot of times, so I had previously gotten this one. But on my most recent trip, I noticed they had a new one, and that is what I picked up. Minnie Mouse to go along with Mickey! So you can see it has Mickey, it has Minnie Mouse's skirt all around the sides with the polka dot so so cute i love the frill on the bottom and then of course you have again the sink aspect so here are the two knobs and this is where the water would come out if you were using this as a sink and what's cool is that when they gave us this um, particular sunday they lined it with plastic so all i had to do is just take the plastic out and just give this a quick wash and this was pretty much good to go so i really do appreciate that they did that i don't remember them doing that in the past but this is a container that you could purchase with your ice cream and I think this is well worth it. One tip I was told however is that you can actually go up to them and just ask to purchase this on its own so you don't have to get the ice cream with it. I haven't tried that personally because the sundae with it was only like $12 I want to say and it was a lot of ice cream so I think a souvenir with all that much ice cream for a bunch of hungry kids and a hungry mom, not so bad. Oh, and my last free item that I got on this trip was when I was leaving the parks, I actually stayed in a hotel for the first time in since 2011, I want to say. When I first moved out to California is when we last stayed at the same hotel that I stayed at in this most recent trip because I was meeting some Disney YouTubers. I thought it would just be easier if I was just there the next day to get up bright and early since I was going two days in a row, this particular Disneyland vac um, vacation trip, um, whatever you want to call it. And uh, while I was walking back to my hotel, they were giving these out on the street going into the uh, the park. So I thought that was interesting that they were giving these Essentia water bottles out. I grabbed a couple because they gave me a couple of different water bottles. But when you are leaving the hot parks, this is such a nice thing. So I appreciated getting a free water bottle as well. So that's part of my haul. Okay, and now on to my non-free items. One of the things I was so excited to get from this particular last trip was the Starbucks mugs. And I previously had the Disneyland version from the You Are Here series. But a couple of months ago, Starbucks has revamped their mugs they sell in the Disney parks and they came out with the Been There series. And I knew this was featured in the park, so I was very excited to try this out. And this is the one that I particularly like the most out of the two Disney parks in California. I happen to like the Disneyland version better, so let me show you what it looks like. This is the box that it comes in. It does say Been There series and Disney parks on the top. The price, um, I want to say was around $22, is $19.99. So, not too bad. $19.99 plus tax. And this is what it looks like. How beautiful is that? I love the pastel colors, the pink and blue. You can see the carousel horse right here. You've got the whale from Pinocchio, which reminds you of the, um, if you ever go on the canal boats ride in Disneyland, that's where you'll see that, as well as the, um, the, li the lighthouse. And then you have, of course, some of the mountains. So <laughs> I love the little, um, the burro, <laughs> the donkey that's in front of, uh, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, which I did go on this most recent trip, and it even says the quote from the ride, which is, the wildest ride in the wilderness. So that's really cute. I like that a lot. Of course, you have a Dole Whip right here. 
you've got Sleeping Beauty Castle in all its glory, and you can also see some fireworks effects. And then up here you have the dog from Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I see Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, Mr. Toad's Wild Adventure, uh, the, the car, the vehicle that you ride during that ride, which is a classic. And that's only at Disneyland now, it's not, no longer in the Disney World parks. Down here you have the Hatbox Ghost from Haunted Mansion, etc, etc. So this is a very detailed uh, mug. And you have Space Mountain right here. You have the Matterhorn um, bobsled ride. You have the Alice in Wonderland vehicle right there in the form of the Caterpillar. You have the boats um, sailing across Columbia that they have there in the harbor. And then this looks like Madame Leota from the Haunted Mansion ride. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be. But uh, then you also have Rocket from Tomorrowland. So this is just a very, very detailed mug. I like the, uh, the Tiki figure as well. It's just gorgeous. Again, with the coloring and the Disneyland logo, I knew that I wanted to have this mug, even though I don't have any more space for mugs, I wanted to get this one to add to my collection. Um, the bottom just says Starbucks Been There Series, and the interior is just a pale pink. So, very much a cute mug, and love this. This was the number one item I knew that I wanted to get from the parks this most recent trip. Next item I'm going to show you is a pin. And this is a pin that I did not happen to have in my collection already. It's an open edition pin. But since I recently increased my Jasmine, my Princess Jasmine and Aladdin collection, I knew that I wanted to add this one as well. I already have the Little Mermaid version, but this particular pin is just gorgeous. I love the coloring and I wanted to have this one. So here is Princess Jasmine with her castle in the background. And the new movie is fantastic, by the way, if you guys haven't seen that. But I just thought this was a very fun, beautiful pin. I love the sparkle and the glitter aspects, and this was just, it was just a very gorgeous pin. And I love that she is holding the magic lamp in this one as well. So a fun Princess Jasmine pin to add to my collection. This one was actually a pickup, so that's why it's wrapped up in plastic. But um, there was a pin that I had and that she wanted, and it was a PTD, which is considered a value. A lot of times those goes for at least 35 or more. And there was this release that was coming out, which was $35, so we didn't even trade, or so to speak, in terms of value. And I gave her my PTD, and she picked this one up for me, and so I didn't have to go to the parks that day. But this is a Lady and the Tramp pin release, and yes, it is a VHS series. You guys, if you've watched my channel before, might know that I am almost a completionist on this collection. The only one that I am missing to date is The Lion King, which was the very first one they ever released. So if anyone has any leads in The Lion King VHS pin, let me know. Um, it'd be nice to add that to my collection, but if I can't find it, then oh well. They are coming out with a new one in June. Um, I think it was Peter Pan. Uh, no, I don't think it was Peter Pan. It might have been Jungle Book. I'm trying to remember what the, the movie was that was going to be featured. It was one that I was kind of like, maybe. I don't need, know if I need to add it to my collection, but um, I do like these pins. They're very, very nice, and they're LE 1500. And you can see you have Lady and Tramp right there in the front of this VHS. And they are, of course, in the famous spaghetti scene. And let me just go ahead and open this up out of the plastic to show you. This is my first time opening this up as well. Ah, so gorgeous. And then when you open it up, they all have the VHS tape design. So this one says Lady and the Tramp. And it's just a very, very nice pin. I do like that each of them has a uh, little image there. This one is... Is that Scamp? Oh, it's actually their dogs, I think. It kind of looks like two dogs. Like, Lady is there and she's turning her head toward Scamp or Tramp. I'm not 100% sure, but at any rate, this is still a beautiful pin and I love the coloring and was very excited to go ahead and add this one to my collection in addition to my Beauty and the Beast one and my Aladdin one and my Little Mermaid one. Yay! On my most recent trip, I actually picked up this pin along with another one, and I was with Rita from Enchanted Rita. So you'll see that in the vlogs. There's not that much footage from my most recent trip because I didn't just didn't vlog that much, but it'll be a quick video that you guys will see. If you guys can hear, I, I, I think I am getting a little sick as well. I've been taking care of my kids and I probably caught it, ugh. But at any rate, this one came out last month as well, um, this past month, and this was the Vintage Vinyl Series, most recent edition, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And I'm not a big snow collector, but this is a fun pin that came out, so I did go ahead and grab this one as well, and you can see Snow with the Seven Dwarfs in the front. And when you go like that, you can see the record with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs written on it. It says side one, and what's cool is it has the evil queen. So that is actually a fun effect. 
I thought it would be fun to have to add to my vinyl collection. And I actually grabbed two, so I do have an extra for trade, if you guys are interested. The nice thing about the VHS series, by the way, it goes along with this Lady and the Tramp vinyl series that came out last month in April. So you do have the same artwork, essentially, or same color coloring, I should say, in the nice navy blue. And again, they're at the spaghetti scene. And when you open it up, you have the record with a picture of all oh, the two guys from Tony's restaurant. So that's actually very, very cute. But fun vintage vinyl collection. I love these pins so much. It's one of my favorite new additions or new series, I should say, from this year that they're doing. I also picked this one up and it was a Haunted Mansion release that just came out that day that we were in the parks. Both Rita and I picked this one up as well. And this one is a Crest of the Kingdom pin. I'm just gonna take this off the backer card. It does say limited edition. This one's a little bent in the bottom because I took it to a recent pin training event this past weekend. I actually posted on my Instagram if you guys follow that. It's just at Playdates and Travels. I'll put it on the screen right here. Um, but at that most recent pin training event at Mighty Pins in Anaheim, I was able to get a couple more pins that I was just able to scratch off of my in search of list because um, I'm really into the pin trading guys lately. And um, while I was there, it was raining and one of the tents actually collapsed and I saw them ruin one of the person's books right next to me. I got like a dot of water on my book. So that was the one pin that it fell on and it was just on the card. So I was quickly like wiping it down. But at any rate, this is the pin and you can see it has like a crest symbol on the front. It's a haunted mansion bird um, and it does say mortalium stultum I guess that's Latin I'll have to look that up to see what it means maybe it means foolish mortals I'm, I'm guessing mortalium is mortals um, and you do have the haunted mansion um, logo right there and you can see that it's a gargoyle um, holding <laughs> holding post right here so this is actually a really intricate pin and then when you open it up you can see the hitchhiking ghosts. So that is the cool feature about this particular pin is that it is a, a hinge pin and then you have another element on the inside and they're kind of in the eerie blue um, color. Just kind of looks like they are ghost-like. Not quite alive, not quite dead. They're just floating around and this is a pretty neat, neat pin. So I grabbed an extra one of these also to have for trade. Um, I just realized more recently in going to the parks that when I have the opportunity to get pins that I think other people are going to probably want to trade for. Um, it's just better for me to pick it up while I have the chance and then I can get pins that I've been looking for a little bit longer for that. So I do have an extra Snow White pin that came out last Thursday. I have an extra Haunted Mansion pin. So if anyone's interested, reach out to me and we can uh, exchange uh, pictures of what pins you have and see if we can do a trade. And the last big thing that I just got for my most recent trip was the Disney Hugs Mystery Boxes. And that's right here. I just picked up two. I went through such a hassle getting these. These were released last Monday, I want to say, in Disneyland. They sold out by Tuesday. They had to restock them. And when I went on Thursday, I looked everywhere in California Adventure and they were already sold out. There aren't that many pin locations in California Adventure. So if you were ever looking for pins, just go to Disneyland, save yourself the hassle. The next day I went to Disneyland and I went all the way to downtown Disney, called in, a, in advance. They held these for me and I just picked out two. But upon leaving the park in Disneyland and the Emporium store, just right in the front of the park, of course I saw a couple of these boxes and I was like, I could have saved my trouble, myself the trouble of walking all the way to downtown Disney because as I mentioned, I actually stayed in the hotel for once, which means that I got to enter um, right by the gate queue system, which means I didn't have to walk all the way through downtown Disney like I normally do. And I literally only went to Pin Traders, which is at the very far end of downtown Disney, just to grab these boxes. So you live, you learn. Disneyland is the way to look for new um, surprise releases, but uh, this is a new open edition box and you can see it says Disney Hugs and you've got Pluto and Mickey and the back has all the possible designs. There are 10 different pins in here. Um, my favorite was Dumbo and Mrs. Jumbo and Jasmine and Raja. So that's the one that I really want is this one right here. All right, the next thing that I'm gonna open is actually not something that I purchased, but something that was given to me. And I had the fortune of getting two gifts recently from the Disney parks. One was, I did a meet up with this girl named um, Kate, and she's from Australia. Hi Kate, for watching this vlog. And she was so sweet, she actually brought me some gifts that she had taken all the way from Australia and brought along to give to me when we met in person. That was so nice, and I actually filmed that opening, so I'm gonna insert that footage so you guys can see that. I just got this from another subscriber. So this wasn't mailed to me, but one of my subscribers, Kate, 
she lives in Australia and she was visiting Disneyland for the past week. We met up yesterday, no, two days ago now. We met up two days ago and she gave me this as a gift. So sweet. She had held on to this for me for a year because she knew that she had a Disneyland trip coming up and wanted to give it to me when she saw me in person. So thank you for that. It actually does have the frame. Um, I just didn't put it behind me because it was falling over and I have to put the whole thing together. But it comes with like a picture frame thing like that. This will eventually go on that side of the wall, but I love this so much. And she also got me this mug that I did not have. It's an aerial mug. It's an aerial mug with the flower behind it. It's such a pretty design. And then on this side, it has her autograph. It says Ariel and you have more flowers. This is such a nice design that came out from the Disney store, I believe. I actually, I never got this mug and I just think this is a gorgeous design. So I'm really, really happy that she thought of me and sent this to me. I'm gonna have to drink out of this one because I love it so much. This is definitely going in my kitchen, which I've mentioned this before, but I'm running out of mug space. I'm gonna have to like kick something to the wayside to make room for this, but I love this so much. And in the meantime, I put it right here so I wouldn't forget to talk about it on camera. But thank you, Kate, for the two gifts. That was so sweet. I was so appreciative not even expecting that and I love the gift so much. And then she also gave me a koala bear. Let me go get that for you as well. My gifts are like scattered throughout the room because my daughter was playing with this one. But look what she gave me! In addition to the aerial gifts, she gave me this beautiful koala bear as a little like token of Australia. And he has the Australian flag in his hands or in his paw. So, so cute. I love this. I love these little gifts that remind you of where you come from. And I've never been to Australia. Australia is definitely like high, high, high up there on my bucket list. I've always wanted to go. Sorry for the noise behind me. My son's like bashing a door and whatnot. But anyway, I've always wanted to go to Australia. Hopefully I make that dream come true reality someday um, soon. And I will cherish my koala bear in the meantime. So thank you again, Kate, for that. And another thing that my friend gave me, Kate from Australia, she gave me these cool little like chocolates. I have like five of these. It says cherry ripe. And it looks like they're chocolate covered cherry flavored because I do see a cherry that is dipped in chocolate. And these say Cadbury on them. It's a Cadbury brand. I've never actually seen these before. I'm kind of excited to try these out. Um, interesting, these two are, are fatter than the other ones. It does say includes cherries and it says juicy cherries and coconut in old gold rich dark chocolate. I'm a big dark chocolate fan, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up on camera so you guys can see me enjoy one of my Australian treats. Thank you so much, Kate. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm, I like that. It's a little melty because it was hot when I got this, but. Mmm. These came straight from Australia. I love coconut, I love dark chocolate, I'm a big fan of cherry, so this is actually my kind of chocolate. I like that it's also mild. It kind of tastes like a Mounds, but not with such like a deep flavor like that. I really do like this. Mm. I had never heard of these before. Thank you so much, Kate, these are awesome. Okay, so that was Kate's um, gift to me, so sweet. And then I also just met with Alex from Disney Finds Australia. She's also gonna be part of the vlogs. Um, very briefly, she's featured more prominently in my most recent vlog, which was my Little Mermaid concert footage. If you haven't seen that, go watch it. It was a ton of fun. I hung out with both Alex from Disney Finds Australia. She's an Instagrammer, takes beautiful photos of the Disney parks, as well as two other YouTubers, Rita from Enchanted Rita and Jesse from Miss Cherry's channel. We all three got together and went to go see that concert in person together, and it was amazing. And upon, upon arriving at my place before we drove off to the concert together, Alex gave me this bag of goodies and said that she had thought of me, and I thought that was really, really nice. So I don't know what's in here because I haven't taken a peek just yet. But, but the one other item that she did get me was this pin, which was in the parks while we were there. And I didn't purchase it because I knew that I had it potentially in a trade. And so I was gonna trade for it maybe. And she saved me the hassle of doing that because she's like, I thought of you when I saw this pin and I got it for you, which was so, so sweet. So this is the pin that Alex thought of me with. It's Mulan and it's a Mother's Day pin, which is perfect because I'm a Mulan collector. I definitely wanted this pin. And I just think this is such a sweet, sweet gift. You can see Mulan with both her mother and her grandmother. 
and then you also have Mulan holding a fan. The funny thing about this pin is that Mulan's face is kind of drawn a little bit strange, like some people online have said that maybe she has a mustache. <laughs> I just, I don't think it's a mustache, it's just more like very overdrawn upper lip, which doesn't do her justice, but that's okay. I still like this pin, I like what it represents, which is the three women all together, and it says 2019 Mother's Day, which is just the sweetest thing ever. Because I am a mom, and because this is one of my favorite films, this was a very nice gift, so thank you, Alex. <laughs> so thank you, Alex, for thinking of me. That was very, very sweet. And I'm so happy to have this pin. I do like that it's kind of like a pin-on-pin -pin element, too. Like, they're raised above the tree in different effect. And this was an Ellie of 5,000. So yay for Milan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now let's see what the other goodies are in here. So I see a big bag. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should start with... Okay, so I think this might be from Japan. She did mention that she had a couple of Japanese goods. So this says made in Japan. It says Disney Princess. And oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I can see Ariel and Cinderella and Belle on here. So you've got three princesses featured. It looks like this might be design paper. It says design paper. I was gonna say wrapping paper. I'm not really sure what that means. Are they um like cardstock? Let's open this up and find out. But this is an item that you definitely don't have in the US and she had seen my Daiso um, footage and she's like I got this because I don't think that you have this in the States which I don't I don't think I've ever seen this so thank you for thinking of me and let me go ahead and open this up so I can see what this is oh these are nice so they're not cardstock they're just individual sheets of paper with this particular design on it but you, this would make a nice like background if you can put them in pin mail this is very, very sweet. So that's that particular design. <coughs> and there's also one in the back that's a different design, and it's all Cinderella. Aww. Thank you. Alex, that's so sweet. And I love stationary items, so I will definitely get some good use of that. Um, she also gave me a couple other things. I know this is not Disney Parks, but I got it for my Disney Parks trip, so that's why it's part of this haul, guys. All right, so I have two sets of stickers here. These say Toy Story with a whole bunch of fun designs. This is so cool. I love stickers, as you guys know. And how neat is that? I love that so much. And then I also have one with a bunch of um, food. So you have Mickey heads and Mickey pineapple and Mickey lime and donuts. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much fun to use in future mailings as well. Thank you, Alex. And then this next one. Oh my gosh, it's a postcard with a lot of glitter and it's the castle. I might have to frame this and put it on my wall because I love the vibrant colors that are popping out at me. This is going to definitely be part of my my wall art, um, either there or on the opposite side. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This actually makes more sense to put this with my, I have a Disney castle pin collection and I think this might have to be the new centerpiece. Thank you, this is so sweet. Okay, and the other items are in this bag and... This bag itself, it looks like it, it, it is from Daiso as well. It says, Gusseted Vinyl Pouch. <gasps> okay, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a lot of stuff in here, so I didn't originally see what was in here. I'm just going to take this all out. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, goods. I'll get to you in a second. But I want to show on camera what this is. There's another pin in here. <gasps> Alex. Oh my god, she got me the pin I wanted. Okay, okay, okay. I hadn't looked until just now, and I was about to trade for that pin too. Alex, I love you right now, girl. Um, anyway, so this is a Ariel pouch, and you can see Ariel is all over this design in a really beautiful design, um, or image, I should say, and just, I just love Japan goods so much. This is such a sweet uh, cosmetic case or pencil case or whatnot. I'm gonna put like my Disney pens in here and put them over there on my desk. I love this so much. This is such a sweet pouch. Thank you for getting this for me. I have never seen this item before in the in the Daiso store ever and I love it. Okay, the next item, she actually got me one of the new Disney Hugs pins, which I just opened my very first Disney Hugs box and I haven't shown you guys that footage yet, but I'm gonna show you that soon. And I didn't get this one in my first box anyway, so I'm very excited to have Princess Jasmine and Raja! Oh my gosh, this is like the pin that I wanted um, right now. This is the number one ISO besides like my big, big pins. But I'm so excited. I'm such on a Jasmine kick. You guys might have seen, if you watched my Instagram feed, a lot more of my recent posts have been about all about Aladdin and Jasmine. I just love this girl. She is great. And I have a blooming uh, <laughs> Jasmine pin collection, so this is fun to add. Okay, the next item is this Ariel pouch 
which came from Daiso. Thank you so much for getting that for me, Alex. This one I actually had seen in Daiso, hadn't gotten it, so yay! Yay to Ariel Pouches. Yes, 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 yes. Then she got me some envelopes, which I actually did grab one for myself. I didn't grab enough of these though, so I'm happy to add some more mini envelopes. I've already started using these for mailings and um, the people I have sent them to, they're like, where'd you get those from, like, Daiso? And these are just, they're no longer available, so thank you for this. I love this gift so much. Ooh, I also see some stationary items. So I have the princesses one with a bunch of the princesses. Here you have Ariel, Cinderella, Belle, Rapunzel, Snow, and Ariel again. You've got Rapunzel there and Ariel, and these are just fun for, like, sending out quick notes to people, which comes very, very handy when you're pin trading a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, she also sent me, ooh, I have never seen this one before. It's a die cut message card. Oh, cool. So this one folds and it has Mickey and Minnie. Oh, this is so cute. I love this so much. And then on the back, it's an envelope with a bunch of Mickey heads. I don't even want to open this just yet because I want to keep it in pristine condition. But I love that it has Mickey heads and Mickey running and Mickey's gloves. You guys can see that design. This is such a sweet, sweet design. Okay, okay, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. It took all my restraint, guys, not to take a peek at this earlier. I knew I wanted to open it on camera, and this is such a sweet gift. Thank you, Alex. Um, the next thing is in Monsters, Inc. I see uh, it's uh, Monster, Inc. Uh, cards, I think. Cards and then envelopes. Yes, yes, yes. Mini letter pad and envelope set. Okay, so yeah, they're just like to write notes on. This is so sweet. I've never actually seen this one either. So it's funny how like the Daisos around the world have different merchandise items. This is from Australia. This was featured and I hadn't seen these before. And what's so cool is look at the envelope. I'm going to take this one out. I have to take this one out, guys. Look at what the envelope has on the back. It's Boo's door and all the other doors. And there's Randall in the corner. <laughs> this is so fun. And then on this side, you've got both Sully and Mike Wazowski. Oh, I love it. I love this. It's just so much fun. And the very last item in here, this is like my favorite item because this is going to be so useful for both me and my daughter. Disney rubber bands. You've got a red and a black one to put in your hair. I'm always looking for hair bands and I love these so much. It's like the little things that you need for everyday use. So love it. Alex, you killed it. You knocked it out of the park with this gift. Thank you so much. You're the sweetest. It was so great meeting you and getting to hang out with you during the concert and during the day that I spent in Disneyland together. And yeah, I just hope that we can continue our friendship after this. But um, thank you. Since I just opened up Alex's package, you guys can see that she actually gifted me that one. So that is so cool. Um, I did get one of the other ones that I was looking for. Hint, hint, I will show that unboxing very soon. So at this point, I'm actually very happy with my Disney Hugs selection. This box would just be traders, probably. I don't really need any of the other ones um, in here, but these are popular. I know that these will be fun traders to have, and these were fun boxes just to get ahead um, a hold of because I just think they're really cute design. So yay for new boxes and new pin releases at the Disney parks. And that's all the items that I have for this particular part of the haul. Um, I'm trying to keep this video short. So even though I have some more pins, I'm actually going to put that in a different video just so this doesn't go on forever. But that was my Disneyland haul, my most recent Disneyland haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the gift that I got from both Alex and from Kate. I mean, that was just the sweetest thing to get those items. Even though they weren't Disneyland particular items, they were gifts that were given to me while I was at Disneyland or, on, you know, and transit from Disneyland. And that was just, I wanted to include it as part of this haul. And then of course, all the stuff I actually got from Disneyland was great too. I love the pins so much. And I really am so excited to have that mug in my possession finally. And then of course the Minnie Mouse the ice cream bucket display thing. I mean, I just think those are so cool. So let me know in the comments what your favorite item was. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I can't wait to talk to you in the next video. All right, bye.